Hey, I'm Jay from Team 125 Overland, and today we're gonna review the Cook Partner Stove. If you've seen shows like Expedition Overland or some of the other overlanding shows on YouTube, you may have seen a Cook Partner stove. At first I didn't know what it was, but then I saw everyone used it and I wanted to find out what the hype was about. I did my research and found out that this is probably a great addition to my rig. Partner Steel was actually founded in 1941. They build quality steel products and they're made right here in the USA. They manufacture stoves. This stove right here is a 22 inch stove. Let me tell you, this thing is badass. I absolutely love it. I bought this this year for my primary stove cooking setup and absolutely fantastic. When I bought it, it was about 280 bucks. Now on Amazon, I've kind of noticed that the price is actually creeping up a little bit. I'm gonna put a link right here in the description so you can check it out for yourself. You can look around on the internet and you might be able to find one a little bit cheaper. I wanna talk a little bit about some of the pros of this bad boy right here. The first thing is the construction, all right? This thing is quality stainless steel, absolutely amazing. All right. When you open it up and you actually look at it, you can tell this thing is handmade, hand welded, and they didn't skip any steps. They really took their time and they really designed a really good product. It uses some really heavy gauge stainless steel. It doesn't move, it doesn't bend, it doesn't flex. It's great. The welds look beautiful on this thing. I love it. It comes apart really easily. And there's really only two pieces. Just pull it off. And that makes it actually super easy to clean. I found that you can just get in there, a uh, little soap and water, scrub it out, spray it down, and boom, it's done. So it's super easy to clean, super easy to put back together. Just like that. The windscreen on it is super stable. You can see, I'm not gonna go ahead and plug it in there, but you can see how Nice, thick and beefy it actually is. Thick and beefy. Works really well, uh, keeps the wind out. This works on a five pound propane tank, or at least that's the way I currently have it set up. I imagine you could probably use it with a one pound, I don't see why you would. I noticed with the Coleman stoves that when you use it with the one pound propane tanks, in the winter, the actual, they freeze up a little bit and you can't cook in uh, really cold temperatures. This, it's not a problem. Like I said, use a five pound propane tank. Additionally to the burners are 10,000 BTUs. So when you talk about cooking time or cooking speed, this thing cooks fast. It cooks also very effectively as well. I haven't had a problem, single problem with any of the heat at all. Another feature I really like are these recessed knobs on here. These knobs keep a nice smooth surface. And at first I was kind of a little iffy, but I realized that they don't actually hit anything. So it's kind of protected. If there's anything that probably could break, it would probably be these knobs by slamming into things. Considering that I have this set up kind of in a drawer system, that's something that probably could break. I really like the actual recessed knobs. Another feature I am really digging on with this thing is the latch. This latch is heavy duty. And I like it. It's not gonna come open anytime soon. I see this on high quality guitar cases all the time. So like I said, once again, they didn't skip on the quality of this actual stove. Some of the cons, is that it doesn't have a piezo starter, so no electric start. Now that could be a good thing and a bad thing. The bad thing is you're always gonna need a lighter or some sort of torch to actually get this thing going, or um, it could be a, um, a good thing because there's one less part to break. It's a really simple design, so it kinda adds to that whole entire quality. One thing I can definitely say about this is that this thing probably will last me a lifetime. The overall build seems like it's gonna actually be nicer than, it's gonna last longer than my truck. So this will probably be with me for the rest of my life. I wanna give it the Team 125 score on this. So for cost, I'm gonna give it a three. There are other stoves on the market made by Coleman or whatever the case may be, 
that aren't as expensive as, in, as this. I, they, uh, they come with a little more option stands, rolling wheels, whatever the case may be. This is an expensive, this is an expensive stove. But like I said, you're really buying, you're really paying for the quality. As far as quality of build, five. Never seen anything better than this stove. This is hands down the greatest camp stove, in my opinion, ever made. This is a five. My perceived value, is it worth the money? Absolutely, it's spectacular. Is it worth the full 300? I'm gonna give it a four. It's really super close, but I can't give it a five. Why? Five would be just absolutely wowed. Is it useful? Absolutely. This is the whole entire center of my cooking setup in my truck. It is perfect size. It does its job flawlessly. It's, I, can't, I can't rave about it enough. This is a five. So for the overall score, I'm gonna give this thing a 17 out of 20. This is a game changer. This is a piece of equipment that you need for your overlanding rig. Get this, it's gonna last forever and it will not break and it's gonna be reliable and it's not gonna let you down. Unlike some people, Ethan. <laughs> this is like I said, a game changer, so it's absolutely spectacular. Spend the money, you won't regret it. If you like my channel, please subscribe, like this video and stay tuned for more videos. And as always, thank you and have a nice day.